It is Christmas, and this year more than ever, we know there is no greater gift than family. So we would love to introduce you to the Colkleys. Yeah, Melanie and David Colkley have built a beautiful family based on love. When they had difficulty having children of their own, they opened their hearts and their home to adoption, which took them on a journey full of love and surprises. It surely did. And speaking of surprises, we've got a huge Christmas gift in store for Melanie and David, one you're not going to want to miss. But first, take a look at how they built their wonderful family with a little help from the Gift of Adoption Fund. Take a look. We met each other when we were seven years old, and we didn't know in that meeting that we were actually going to fall in love and get married one day. We went off and were able to do a lot of things in the world, and then we came back and our paths crossed. We started working on our 20-year uh, high school reunion committee and started dating, and here we are. After reconnecting at age 37, Melanie realized what David had known all along, and two years later, they were married got pregnant quickly. I told her she was pregnant because <laughs> she was having all these crazy cravings. I said, you're pregnant. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. <laughs> Melanie and David were overjoyed. They both always wanted to be parents, but just a month shy of delivering their first baby, the unimaginable happened. Suddenly, in the 36th week of an otherwise normal and perfectly healthy pregnancy, just one day, suddenly the lights went out. Up to this day, the doctors have just said, you know, unfortunately, Sometimes it just happens. Baby Gabriel was born still after a placenta abruption. After I lost Gabriel, there were times that I considered suicide because it felt like my heart had been ripped from my body and I didn't know how I was gonna keep moving on without my heart. It took us uh, five years of trying to get pregnant again, trying to, to grieve and trying to reconcile what happened. Grief is such a strong thing and it's so different for everybody. In all of that grief of losing our only biological son, we got so much from it. We gained so, so much blessings. from that. Among what was gained, the opportunity to grow their family another way. And I went to Melanie and I said, you know, the Lord's really working on me. I think it's time for us to adopt. And she says, me too. Uh, so we, we started the process. A year later, we end up with this opportunity to adopt four kids okay. with a set of twins in it. And that's how we ended up with our first four, Mackenzie and Madison, and Richard and Sean. The four biological siblings filled Melanie and David's broken yet hopeful hearts. I have two adopted children, and I know the feeling of loving a baby before you've laid eyes on them. Yes. Did you know, Melanie, that you were in love before you saw them? Absolutely. I was also afraid. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> they outnumbered us. <laughs> but absolutely, as soon as we saw them, we were like, oh my God, how, I mean, how could we not say yes? <laughs> a lot of people come to us and say, how can you love a child that you didn't give birth to? You just do, and it doesn't matter. And it, the, the day that we saw them, my heart just opened up in ways that I can't even explain to you. You just have to be open. Our children are the most incredible people. They're sweet, they're kind, and they just want to be loved and given an opportunity to be in a safe environment and so they can flourish and be who God wants them to be. Even after bringing home four kids, Melanie and David still had room in their hearts, adopting a fifth biological sibling, Luke. Their kid's birth mom had a sixth child, Mason, now three, who was placed with another family shortly after birth. He fell through the system, so to speak, and was, was being adopted by someone. We found out about him the day prior to his adoption being finalized. And we were really devastated. Uh, to, to say we we're devastated, to say it's an understatement. It's an understatement. But we really got a chance to know his adopted mom very well. We became friends with her. And we said, we're going to keep in touch. And Melanie uh, said, but he's... He's still going to end up in our house. I know I know he's going to end up in our home. Let's talk about that, you knowing that that sixth child was meant to be with you. Luckily, he was adopted by, by a wonderful person. She reached out to us because she was having some, some challenges with him and just felt that he needed to be with his biological siblings. When she first approached us, approached us about it, we were wondering, well, how in the world are we going to make this happen? Yeah. You know, with the vehicle, with this, with the house, with everything else. Our heart said immediately, yes, our minds said, well, how are you going to fund it? You guys have applied for a grant. Yes. And to think that there is 
some cash standing in between your family and the sibling that they all need and you all need in your life. It has to be frustrating to think that's all it's about right now, right? It is, but we just need one step at a time with every decision they make and they just have to take one step at a time. Okay, let's take a little, you wanna take a little step? Let's take a little step together, okay? We want you to meet Major League Baseball player, Eric Sogard and his wife, Casey. They are joining us right now. They have five kids, two, two of whom they adopted. Casey, by the way, serves on the board of the gift of adoption. They are with us and they have some news they would like to share with you. We sat in tears reading your story and our hearts are just so full. We just want to let you know that you will be receiving a grant from the gift of adoption. Awesome, oh, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Does that mean little Mason will be on the way? Is that what we're talking about right now? He'll be home soon, yes. Yes, absolutely. What does it mean to you, Melanie and David, to know that that last little step that you've been waiting for just happened? It's just awesome, but it's a it's a big it's a, a big weight lifted off our shoulders. That's, that's really awesome. Thank and you thank so you so much, much for your generosity and your love and concern. I we we yeah, there's no words. Thank no. you. And well, we keep praying that one day that we can be in a situation where we can be in your seat blessing someone else absolutely. too. Absolutely. Oh, and. Casey, you and Eric, what does it mean at being able to share this moment with these guys today? Yeah, I mean, adoption is obviously something that's very, very close to our hearts and we know how much it has blessed our family and we, we just love seeing adoption bring joy to other people's lives and families. Thank you. Guys, keep spreading the joy. We love it. Yes. God is good. You were right. You knew it was going to happen. You didn't know where. You didn't know how. But you knew it would. Yes. And it did. So congratulations. And you we so can't very, very wait. Much. We cannot wait. I want a frame picture. I want to put it on my desk right here. <laughs> you awesome. You, you got, got it. it. <laughs> Oh. And guess what? The gang is all here. We got the Coakleys. We're going to find out how they're doing. And this is definitely a great Christmas surprise coming up right after this. Morning. <laughs> Hi, family. Merry Christmas. We're sorry we don't get to be with you this Christmas. We're sending hugs and kisses. kisses. Love you. Bye. Merry Christmas. Mm, love that. Okay, guys, before the break... We met two incredible people, Melanie and David Coakley, who were able to adopt their sixth child. All the kids are biological siblings, thanks to the generosity of an organization called Gift of Adoption. And, and you know what that means? All of the kids are together under one roof, just in time for Christmas. Good Merry Christmas, morning. Can we, oh, you have such a beautiful morning. family morning. portrait we're looking at, but where is little Mason? Can I see little Mason? Hi, Hi, Mason. <laughs> How are you? Yeah. Oh, it just, the, the last puzzle piece, it just fits, doesn't it, guys? How does it feel to all be together today? Good. <laughs> <laughs> Melanie, you know, I have to talk with you as, because I, I think Christmas is about God's grace. Mm -hmm. It's about grace personified, and that is you, <laughs> um, both of you all. And you took what could have been the pain of a lifetime and just created mm -hmm. love, this mm -hmm. beautiful family. How, how did you do that? <laughs> <laughs> you said it. It's all God. It, it is all God. You know, when you go through grief, if you go through something that severe, you even have an opportunity to um, put it in or out. And we decided to, to put it out and we decided to love harder. And um, God showed us the rest. He showed us who to love, who, where to go. And he gave us the means to do it. And through great people like you guys, we're able to, so uh, well, thank the, you. The great people are on that side of the screen. Can each child just quickly say your name so we know who you are? Let's start in the front. My, name, the front. my name is Mackenzie and I'm nine years old. My name is Richard and I'm eight years old. My name is Madison and I'm also nine years old. Mm -hmm. My name is Sean and I'm six. No, you have it. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> One more. Four. And who are you for like that? My name is Luke. Oh, Luke. Hello. Hello. 
How old are you? And he's two. Okay, guys. Now, we, we, we were counting. Um, that's a lot of kids. So we know that we wanted to help you make life a little easier. So I'm going to ask a favor. I know y'all are all sitting together, David, but could you grab your phone? Could you walk mm -hmm. to the front door and tell us what you see? So if you wouldn't mind picking up your phone or computer, whatever that is. I know it's hard to get up <laughs> to <laughs> unpack the kids. And we all walk see. with your dad. Y'all all walk Y'all can walk side. together with, with David. Let's see what we got. Let's see what it is. I see some folks in the yard. All right, what else do you what see? What else do you guys see? <laughs> A vehicle. A vehicle, that's right. We figured you needed some more seats for all the kids, so that's what you get. Big silver Christmas boat. David is a 200, I mean a 2021 Toyota Sienna. It seats eight passengers. Yes. That's enough space for all of y'all. Toyota found out about your family's current seven-seater car, and that was no longer going to cut it. So they wait, wanted wait. to make sure you guys were riding around <laughs> safely together. So anyway, you got some wheels for Christmas. What do you think of your wheels, David? Awesome. Thank you thank very, you. very much. Oh, uh, so well, thank you. What do you guys think? We love you guys. You all have all the love in the world. The, the car is just thank extra. You. We love you too. We love you. Ha Merry Christmas, okay? Thank oh, thank you, you very, very much. Merry Christmas. Merry Thanks Christmas. for sharing thank your day you. with us. Thank you. Oh, love them. Love them. Okay. Bye, Absolutely. guys. Bye, Mason.